We turn to child care now. Ontario is no longer the lone holdout in Canada. Today, it has inked a $13.2 billion deal with Ottawa for $10 a day child care by 2025. But relief is coming sooner. Parents, especially moms, shouldn't have to choose between family or a career. This is a historic moment for families who pay crushing child care fees. It means within weeks, families with children under five will have fees reduced by 25%, retroactive to April 1st. In December, fees will be reduced by 50%, saving families about $6,000 a year. And by September 2025, child care will be $10 a day. Child care is not a luxury. It is a necessity. The Ford government is the last of all the provinces and territories to get on board. It's claiming victory today, saying it got the feds to guarantee a sixth year in funding along with more flexibility. It's a great deal for Ontario parents and the right deal for Ontarians. The opposition begs to differ. BC inked their deal nine months ago and that has meant that families were able to get relief for the high childcare fees for nine months now that Ontario families have not had access to. Now the hard work is just beginning. The deal commits to creating 86,000 childcare spaces in Ontario. Modeling by a U of T economist suggests 300,000 new spaces could be needed to meet a surge in demand when childcare is $10 a day. What good is $10 a day if parents can't get a $10 a day spot? In year three, if it looks like we need more, we'll be working with and petitioning the federal government to say, look, we just have more needs. The Ontario Coalition for Better Child Care calls the deal a huge step forward, but admits it's not perfect. It's especially concerned about attracting thousands of new early childhood educators who will be needed. The coalition and the association uh, of ECEs called for uh, $25 an hour um, as a minimum, and we have a floor of 18 in the agreement. They uh, have a special skill set, and they deserve to get paid appropriately, and we'll work as quickly as possible and collaborate uh, with the stakeholders. Now, critics accuse Doug Ford of stalling on the deal so it could be announced shortly before June's election. When it was pointed out to him today that families will start getting retroactive childcare rebates in the middle of the election campaign, he made sure to note it's not the only rebate coming. Remember, you're getting a rebate for license stickers too. Not signing a deal before the election would have hurt him. Signing will only help Ford at the polls.